So here's Theo. He's this time we've got a few pairs in with him, and he's discussing some of his best bits and some of the bits he'd like to work on through one of the Victory Shield matches. So again, he's used performer there to clip his own um, own images and, and to discuss that that he's chosen. Um, so he's got a free reign, not limited in terms of um, you know you must pick X, Y, and Z. It's he's got the game. He needs to pick out what he wants to feed back to us and then justify why he's feeding it back to us. What is it about his game that he, he likes, what's good, both looking at the technical and ta tactical aspects and what he'd like to improve. We've spoke very heavily around counter-attacking and, and transition, but again, these principles, I think, can be applied to, to any topic and, and anything we're trying to achieve. But what is your strategy? So, James, you mentioned earlier about um, it comes back to, to your coaching philosophy. Uh, and what, what we're trying to achieve might be different to what a different team is trying to achieve. What are the individual collective attributes required to be successful? So first of all, what, what does a player need to be successful in this? So if it's counter-attacking, that first pass is really important. So you may need a player who can, can really think forward, play forward, uh, and, and maybe quick players to get in behind an attack. Um, you might not have that. So how might that look for you? Uh, and again, I encourage you just to think about what does it look like in your environment? And if I can leave anything with you here, it's the game. The game's not the same. The game is not the same, whatever level you're, you're at. It, it looks slightly different in, in every context. Daniel's talked about purpose and, you know, make it suit your environment. I'm going to talk about the clarity of purpose and how important that is at the outset. And I think one of the questions uh, you had asked earlier and the response was allowing the data doesn't lie and the objectivity behind that. I'm going to talk a little bit about how the objectivity guides and narrows down and filters the information. The subjectivity comes with your interpretation. And I'll go through a little bit of a process for that and different environments. And then I'll talk about the importance of reflection that James has uh, discussed already and the communication. It's great having this information. It's great having the data and the evidence. It's how you then present that to players and get players involved. 